say, well, we're going to be working on another Christmas project. You know, I went yesterday uh, to get my nails done, and I always make an appointment for three weeks from then, and three weeks from then is November something. I said, oh my goodness, I better get busy. So anyway, um, I'm going to be working on my poinsettia wreath that will go on the wall in the living room. And I have several that I have viewed with several different petals. And I've picked out one from Christina at the Door Doctor. And because it was different and I haven't made one like it before, so I wanted to give it a try. I have another roll of mesh. If this doesn't come out the way I want it to look, we can always try again. But let me just show you. I've started it just because I wanted to see if I like the petal. But I will explain what we've got done. This is an 8 inch frame. And I got that from Craft Outlet. I have put my mesh um, wire or plastic mesh on the inside and I have started the first section of the petals for um, the outside and the reason I wanted to try these is because they're pointy and I kind of think a pointy petal looks a little bit more like a poinsettia so what we're going to do is I'm going to try to put I think five in a section and even though they're on you can slide them a little bit and I have only three in here now and I gotta get two more I don't want them to overlap and I'll show you how the petal goes I cut all my mesh or burned all my mesh in 10 inch pieces so what you do for the petal, these are the finished sides, and I'm just going to put this up here for now because these pieces are from the end of the roll and they're very um, curly. Now my curl is up, okay, and I'm just going to start on this side at the point, the point is pointed at me, and I'm give us a little roll, and I'm going to roll it into about the center. Okay, and then I'm going to roll the other one in and meet it. And this particular roll of mesh had a bad edge on it, so, okay, so I have met it in the middle, okay? Curls and curls, and now I'm just going to pinch it as close to the middle as I can figure and bring them together and that will be my petal. I want to try to get this upright. There we go. So the curls are upright. grabbed one of my four inch zip ties. I'm not sure if it's going to be big enough. Let me switch that out for a longer one. I'm attaching them on the second wire. Okay, and we have one more for this section. Good side, good side, point towards me. Roll it up, and I'm not rolling a two. Um, firm. 
you can see it's about an inch, okay? I'll bring this one down. Now we have our, she said they look like two ice cream cones. That's possible. Bring them together, pinch them. I'm going to have to get some more zip ties out as I just dumped some and I ended up dumping a lot of the small four inch ones. So there we have the first section. I've got that one a little bit up. There we go. And that that is five. I'm going to put this three sections. I'm going to put five in each section. So there'll be 15 all together on the first row. I'll do one more section and then I'll finish the first row off camera. Good side, good side. Curl up. And it certainly is. And then I'm just going to roll it from the corner. And roll it from the corner. And you know, I'm not particularly happy with this roll of mesh. It came from Craft Outlet and this is the poly burlap. Okay, turn them, twist, twist them together, trying to make sure they are equal. Add it to the wreath. Sorry. Hold on a second. Let me just change out some zip ties. Another person who made a pretty one uh, is Julie over at Julie's Wreath Boutique and she uses a different petal. There's a lot of different petals people use to make this wreath. I just thought I would try this one for two reasons. Like I said, I think it looks like a poinsettia and I'd never made this one before and I wanted to try it.
this section. You see that string on the edge here? I don't know if you can see it. That the whole edge wants wants to unravel. I'm not like I said. This particular roll leaves a little something to be desired, but I think we can roll it so it doesn't impact it too much. And one little strings I see, I'll just cut off. With my zip ties, what happened is when we moved, they all got dumped in the same box. <laughs> and so all different sizes and colors and whatever are in the same box. Now let me just Curl up. Ooh, this must have been the last one. It's curling up all by itself. in first. Of course I didn't. There we are. Now we'll bend it. Shape it a little. It doesn't take very long to do this. Is two sections. One more section. There'll be 15 on this first row. Okay? I'll be back when I have finished that last part of the section. Okay, we have 15 on the outside and you can see it's nice and full. Now we're going to do the next row. Now the next row I'm going in about two squares onto the plastic mesh, okay? And I think we're going to get about 12 in this row. Now one thing that Christine does, uh, and I thought was a good idea, was she does a north, south, east, and west first. North, south, east, west. And that's how she starts the mesh on each row, and then fills in in between them. So I'm going to try that and see how that works out. These aren't quite as curly as the other ones were. I'm getting more deeper into the roll. So I don't have to hold the other one from coming up to hit me in the head. this way. 
<laughs> that would have been something else. Well, the very first one I went to, the zip ties in there backwards, so we'll move to this one. And you can see where it is on the mesh right here. Okay. You see that string? Bend them in the middle. You can see that's going to be nice and full. Unfortunately, fortunately, we are rolling that edge up as we roll them, so it won't continue to ravel. North, east, south, west. North, south, east, and west. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not really compass. Okay, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two in between each one of those. So let me get that on and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, the second row is on. Look how full that is, huh? Isn't that something? One more row to go, and we're going to start it the same way as we did the other ones. We're doing north, south, east, west. <laughs> and so I will continue to roll them up. Roll from one point into the middle. Roll from the other point into the middle. Hold it in the middle of it and bend them together.
in the middle. The other point to the middle. Bend them in half. rid of these so I don't get confused as to what is which. See this? That's that whole piece right off the edge. There you go. Yes. Now I think you could I think you could do the same thing with regular deco mesh. I don't see why you couldn't. Now I'm going to try to get one in between each one of these and we'll see. As long as I have enough mesh and I think I have just enough. Oh, I better get... Uh, zip ties in first. Getting kind of crowded. This took exactly one roll.
I think I can squeeze one more. Sorry, my head's probably right in your view. Okay, just can't see where it's coming up. Hold on. job. Would you believe that is in backwards after all the trouble I had getting it in there? <laughs> oh, mercy sakes. I'll be back. Let me get that in. You don't have to watch me do that. All right. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look how full. Isn't that something? So now we're going to add a few leaves to the back. And I'm following Christina's... Uh, suggestion. I, I thought it was really good. So let's turn this over and I'm going to do five leaves and she had them sort of just evenly spaced around the frame and what she's done is weave it from top to bottom, from inside to outside so that it gives it a little bit more stability than just putting it it's going to be actually attached down here, okay? But we're going to go under the first one, over the second one, and under the third one. Okay? And we're going to put five of them on, so I'll we'll do that five times. Under the first one. over the second one and under the third one. Under, over, under. Under, over, under, and one more. Now that's a really big one. Let's try it. one that's not quite so heavy. Under, over, under. Okay, now for the leaf, I'm using this green. It's, a, it's actually a Christmas green. 
You can use whatever kind of color green you want to, but this happened to be the only green I had. So I'm going to move this over and I'm going to show you the leaf. I'm going to start out exactly the same way as we did for the wreath. Let me just move this over a little bit. Okay, I got the curl is up. The point is towards me. One point here, one point here. And I'm going to take this point and I'm going to bring it up to the middle. Okay, and these are 10 by 10, just like the red ones. Take this point and bring it up to the middle. And then I'm going to just gather it in between. Okay. I'm just going to give it, she gives it just a little bend. And what we're going to do is put it down at the bottom. And I'm going to bring this over. And I'll start to attach it, but as I attach it, I'm just going to push this underneath that first ring. And then I'm going to tighten her up. And very honestly, they don't show up all that much from the front. But you can see them a little bit. All right, let's do that one again. Point the curl up, point towards me, point up there. Into the middle. Into the middle. Gather it together. Give it a little bend, put it right at the outside ring. And just start it off. And as you start it off, just push it underneath that ring. And oh my goodness, I can hear it from here. I don't know if you can. There's a football something or other on. And sometimes don't you think those announcers on these football games, all they want to do is yell? It's like, I can turn the sound up or down. You don't need to yell it at me. All right, we've got three more to do. Point, point. Gather it up. Give it a little wound. underneath that bar a little bit, just a little, and tighten this up. Point, point, gather it up, give it a little bund, put it out at the end, get it just under these there a little bit. Oh. So 
somebody's sending me a message. Let me just open it so it won't keep making that noise. Oh wow, it was Joanne's. They must want me to go spend some money. <laughs> Last one. One, two, bend it in the middle. And the curl is still up for you, okay? Underneath, just stick it under there a little bit. And tighten it down. Here. Now you don't really see them too much, but you can arrange them. I kind of like arranging, you can see them, I guess. I kind of like arranging them opposite where the point of the petal is coming out because then they show up. And spread them out a little. There you go. One of those edges. Isn't that something beautiful? All right, we're going to put a middle in that now. I'll be right back. I've got to get, get it out of the drawer. Hold on. Okay, here's the center I'm going to use. These are three silver Christmas balls that I have wired together. And then I have put some glue in between them to hold them. And I'm going to try. Well, it didn't really hold them, did it? I guess I didn't get it in the right place. Well, mercy sakes. Let's try that again. One's good. This one needs a little something, something. Now this ought to be a challenge. Down 
in here. Now, I have that. That's pretty good. But I can also add one red one to the middle. What do you think? I think I'm going to do that, but I'm going to take this little thingy off. Oh sure, they wanted to fall off the other ones. Doesn't want to come off this one. <laughs> and let's give it a nice little blob of glue. That gives us some pretty dimension there, doesn't it? Isn't that pretty? Look at that, huh? Now, I should have done this before, but I didn't. So I'm going to put a hanger on it. Okay, I'm going to use a pipe cleaner for this part. And I'm just going to bend it down and then bend up the two ends. They kind of look like a W. <laughs> and let's see if we have any place that wants to be the top. That looks pretty good all the way around, so I think we'll just do it right here. So I'm going to put these two W's Okay, you see I put that loop underneath that frame? Okay, then I'm going to take this leg and I'm going to go around the loop and that leg and go around the loop in opposite directions and bring them out and they can go around this bar And then we'll just give them one twist together and cut them off. Well, I don't know that I'll cut them off. I think I'll just push them back through the, ne the, the frame and you have a nice hanger. So there you go, isn't that pretty? It's, that is really a nice puffy, look how puffy. Winsetta. We're going to look really pretty up on the wall in the living room. The living room, remember, is going to be the traditional colors, red, green, gold, silver, those kind of things. I'm going to just go around and I'm going to get it, uh, put this off. I'm going to just trim any little pieces, like so, like so. Once it's up on the wall, you won't have that problem, but we've been fiddling with it, so it just kind of makes it ravel a little. But there you go. Let me go and hang it. I think I'll hang it on the door for now because my other wreath is, fall wreath is still up on the wall. 
So I will be back in just a minute. We'll see what it looks like. Well, there you go. Isn't that something, huh? Look how full and puffy that is. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I do like the little red ball in the middle. And, I, and the leaves show up well. So that is going to be really pretty up on my wall. Boy, oh boy. And you know, it won't be long before we'll be decorating. Now, I may pop up a couple of extra vi videos. I'm not sure, but I've got quite a few things that I want to get done. Um, some lantern swags and regular swags and, uh, and a few other little projects. And there's just not enough weeks between now and then. So we'll see what we can do. And if I pull out something to put it together, I'll film it. So until then, I'll see you on Sunday. And Sunday will be another cook with me and another crock pot. And we've used, hmm, hamburger? No, we've used chicken. Yes, and hamburger for the stuffed peppers. So we'll use something else this week. So until Sunday, when I see you again, have a great afternoon. If you're enjoying the football games, enjoy, and I hope your team wins. Stay safe, stay dry, stay cool, stay warm, whatever it is you need. And I will see you Sunday. Until then, everybody play nice now. Love you. Bye-bye.